adding items to a wish list. To add items to a wish list in the edge, you need to be at point of sale. You would choose the associate who's adding the items to the wish list, and you would bring up the customer you are looking to add items to the wish list for. If the items are in store, you can just scan the items onto your point of sale screen as if you were going to sell them. So I've scanned three items into my system and I don't want to purchase them, but I want to add them to the wish list. In the bottom right hand corner of the screen, below done, there is a button that says save to wish list. When you click that button, it assumes all the items on the screen are going to be saved to the wish list. You have a new window that allows you to put comments. If you are adding more than one item at the same time to a wish list, whatever comments you put here will show up on all the items. It asks who are the items for. So even though I have Lenny up on the screen, it assumes Jessica is the one adding these to the wish list. If they were Lenny, you could change it. If not, you could leave it as Jessica. There is a question about notify. If you are using text or email notifications, you can choose to either text or email someone that Jessica was in here updating her wish list. You also have the ability of saying these things are wanted for a particular event. Default events will be here. You can also type in anything you'd like. And then you would ask for the event date. Once you've added all the information you'd like, you're going to click OK. Now, if we look the record back up and we go to the wish list, you will see that the items that I just put on my wish list are right here. So Again, even though I brought myself up, these items are for Jessica. They show both people's wish list items on the same one, as long as they're a couple. There is one other way to add items to a wish list. If these items that you want to put on are not in stock, if they were something you've sold, if they were a vendor and style number that someone's looked through the catalog and found, or even if Jessica just said, I really want a nice pair of almond ear earrings. You can add anything to a wish list. The difference is you have to go into wish list mode. To switch to wish list mode, you're going to click on the wish list button and go to wish list entry mode. You do have to identify your associate first. When we're in wish list entry mode, it removes a lot of things from the point of sale screen. And basically, what you have is a wish list item. Now, again, just like before, you can scan an in stock item here and add it to the wish list also. And once you've scanned it, it will bring it up on the screen just like the point of sale. However, if you want to add an item manually or you want to put anything else on a wish list, you're going to hit the wish list item. By default, it assumes you want to add a piece that is not from stock. You could choose a vendor, you can enter a style number. You can also choose an existing style that's been in your store before, and it will bring that information over. So a wish list item could just be a vendor style and description. You can put in a price range. You could put in how many they want. You could put in a comment that will only apply to this one wish. You have your who's it for, who should be contacted, and you have your event information. I click OK, and that's a non-stock item. I can also look up an item that someone else has purchased. So if I go to find, I get my full filter. So if they're looking for an item that was sold to their mother, we can go to sold, and we can say where the item was sold to a particular customer. And we get a list of all those items. This happens to be a lot of items that were purchased, but we're just going to pick one and say this one. This item is not in stock, but it still allows me to add that item to the wish list. 
You can also skip vendor and style and just enter a description. Nice pair of emerald earrings. And you can leave it just as that. So anything can be added to a wish list. You just need to make sure that you're in wish list entry mode for things that are not in stock. Once we have everything we want to put on the wish list here, the next step is just like it was before, save to wish list. So now those four new items were added. So again, if we look up our customer record and we bring it on the screen, when we go to wish list and show my wishes, we will now have four new entries at the bottom. One, two, three, four. You will notice that this one, the one that was sold that I put on the wish list, does show in red because that item's not available. It's letting you know that it's sold, and we know that because the status here says sold. Those are the two ways to enter an item on a wish list. They always happen at point of sale and you always have to have your customer on the screen.